All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is I'm actually gonna be doing a cool little craft project. I'm not really sure what you wanna call it. Either like a, a like a 3D box, a shadow box, or like a diorama. This is kind of like a very basic of what I wanna do. I was just very bored the past couple days and I decided to take on like an art project, make something that looked pretty nice, and yeah, let's just go from there. This is like an art project where I'm gonna just be kind of uh, going along with the flow. A lot of times the projects I have, like when I'm building like arcade cabinets and stuff like that, I have everything written out to a T. So I know that I wanna use this orange brush on this specific spot right here and I wanna touch it twice. For this art project, it's gonna be much more like open and kind of like go with the flow as I'm gonna be building it as I'm going. And if I like the way that the piece looks right here, I'm gonna do it that way. Or if I like the way it looks like this, I'm gonna do it that way. So it's very more free uh, flowing than a lot of my other projects, but it should be a lot of fun to make and hopefully it's kind of cool to watch as well But anyways, I'm gonna be trying to make a diorama. I have a whole bunch well six of these like kind of uh, Elmer foam boards. I'm gonna be cutting them to give it some like depth Here's some of the depths I'm gonna be trying to do probably like a, a hill here a hill here and each of these lines is like a different layer So I'm gonna cut out a hill here and a smaller one a smaller one and I'm gonna layer them and glue them together Trying to give a little bit of depth. I also bought some like foam that I'm going to be uh, probably building up around the top of the tree and I'm going to be trying to stick in uh, these leaves. I bought this like uh, this long chain of them. I'm pretty sure I'm able to pull them off of here if I want and I'm gonna pull them off and either glue them or just kind of shove them into the foam block. So hopefully that will look uh, like some nice uh, leaves on there. That was like the closest thing I could find to leaves just at like Michael's. I did buy some packets of fake grass. I'm gonna be painting the landscape with some tacky glue and just sprinkling some fake grass on it and shaking it off when it's dry. I do have some popsicle sticks that I'm gonna be making the house with. So I'm gonna be building the house out of popsicle sticks. I'm probably gonna end up staining the popsicle sticks as well. I do have a bunch of leftover stain from some deck boxes. I do have some paints as well. Uh, a couple other ones too. Just in case I want to like paint the background or something, just like a base coat before I put on any of the grass or something like that. So I might be putting down kind of like a darker green, just like paint the whole thing, except maybe the sky area. I'm still trying to figure that out, just kind of going with the flow with this. But I do have some paints in case I want to paint it. I am going to be using the foam brushes, most likely uh, for the Elmer's glue. I do have a hot glue gun as well. Probably going to be putting the layers together with this just because it's good glue and it should hold it together. Um, yeah, I have an exacto blade as well. I'm gonna be cutting out like all of the shapes and everything. This is gonna be like a, a one inch border probably around it. So it's gonna be like an inch. I'm gonna have to cut an inch around this whole thing probably with a big old ruler. And yeah, I'm gonna go from there. And I'm also gonna be finding a big stick outside. Like it looks like a tree. I'm probably gonna cut it in half on like a table saw or something like that and just put it on there and maybe drill some branch holes I shove in there to kind of make it look like a tree. And yeah, so it's gonna look like there's a tree on the right side. It would be pretty cool. And I do have this tiny little um, light kit, very cheap, like under $5 or something like that. And uh, I'm going to be trying to put the coil of the lights inside of the house. And the, the window is going to be translucent, not clear, but like a, a white translucent. So you're going to be seeing some of the light kind of coming through it to make it look like someone's inside the house. Probably going to put a little cotton or something above uh, the chimney. But yeah, it should be pretty fun. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I want to go ahead and set this up and then I'm going to, uh, I wanna cut the first uh, like inch layer all the way around. There we go. And what I wanna do is I kinda wanna rough get out the shapes of the hills on here. There we go. So this is the first kind of hill. And if you can see, there's like a sharpness to it, kind of giving like a sloped kind of feel. just going to be using whoop, some tacky glue and uh, 
this. I'm gonna put out a little bit. Maybe that's enough, I don't really know. This is what it looks like uh, so far. You can kind of see the depth and everything. All right, I finally finished the, like, I guess the base build of everything. Um, all the layers are built up. If you can see, it's even all the way around the whole kind of diorama thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like some just printer paper over it just to protect my books and just get a bunch of like heavy books and just have this thing being pressed all night long on like a wooden surface. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, got my palette. And I got a couple colors and some paintbrushes. Oh yeah, while well, it's drying, Having a little breakfast. Looking really good. Looking really good. Really happy with it. This is what it looks like so far. All of the paint is dry to the touch. Maybe there's a little bit of wet spots in the corners up there, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. The next step is I'm going to be putting on this fake grass. And let's look. You can see that uh, definitely where the glue, like where there was no glue like in there, might go in there, touch it with some glue and throw some more grass. Pretty good though. Very, very, very rough draft of the house.
here it is so far. This is the house. The final house is pretty much done. It has like the thickness that I'd like. It's just like super reinforced by a whole bunch of super glue. Strings of glue just everywhere. I'm gonna start with the pre-wood conditioner. Honey 272, thought it looked really nice. It's a darker one, but I like that. Here's the brush I used um, for making the deck box. I did not clean it properly, and this thing is, <laughs> it is a rock. <laughs> you can almost open it with it. <laughs> My cabin is dried. I think it turned out really nice. The house is gonna be pretty much here, so I want the hole to be like right here. Just like that. So now the window has its light. So now we have the house in there with the lights on off you got the timer as well this thing is uh coming together let's go and let's cut the tree there it is this shall be the tree i took uh my leatherman the little saw attachment and i just cut off about half an inch on the top of it just so it can rest on top of the second little hill down here just so it's flush with this green part here Here I am, the next day, time to shake off the final layer of the grass. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And I just ran to the hardware store to get a little piece of wood, actually two pieces of wood. I have this length here. Just cut the links for the frame. Now I'm going to assemble it real quick.
time to put on some more stain. It's a Honey 272, just some Minwax stain. Let's get on to the urethane coating. You can see the basic wood compared to the stained wood. Definitely like the stained wood. All right, got my X-Acto knife, and let's just try and make this work. Next step, I'm going to be taking some tacky glue. I'm going to be putting a little bit of it kind of in between here. Then we'll be putting it on the edges of here, and we're going to be affixing the final border on it. And then I'm going to be putting books on it, letting that dry for a long time. Now, I just gotta let this dry for a good long time and then go from there. All right, and here it is, the finished product. I think it turned out really nicely. I'm happy with the colors and I like the frame that I put on it. I'm happy that I went out of the way and stained the wood and everything. I like the stained uh, cabin itself and I do like the inclusion of actual tree. Uh, this actually was found outside. It was actually like a thick vine though. It was actually gonna probably take down a tree because it's so thick, but yeah. Um, so yeah, really cool inclusion of that and just a fun little project like diorama, shadow box, whatever you want to call it. I do like the layering effects. It made me think of when I used to make uh, 3D magic cards, so it was kind of fun. I do like the little light that I included in there and I do like that how it has an extra feature. It has an on, off, and then it has a timer setting. So I like the timer setting. If I turn it on at six o'clock at night, every night at six o'clock, it's going to turn on and maybe at like midnight it'll turn off. So it's kind of a cycle and I do like that. And it's, it's just a fun little project. I got to paint stuff. I got to use uh, lots of glue and foam board and cutting. And uh, it was just fun. Kind of a creative go with the flow project. Uh, the last thing I did, by the way, is I did put on um, a little wire to hang it. So I will be hanging this. I'm not really sure where, though. But yeah, what a fun little project. I hope you enjoyed this kind of little journey and venture with me. I hope it was fun for you to watch. And it was fun for me to make. Just want to say, hope you're all doing positive. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. And keep on keeping on. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Happy New Year, and I'll catch you all on the next one.